We honor you because without you, Father, we are helpless. We commit these promises in your holy hands. Every brother, sister, young, old, I commit them, Lord, with the blood of Jesus. Lord of Jesus. Father, come and guide us. Amen. Come and lead us. Amen. Come and take charge of these promises. But we know we are not alone. Amen. That your spirit, your power is here with us. Amen. Speak your word, Holy Spirit. Amen. Let it come forth with power, Amen. strength, Amen. to encourage your people. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you, Father. Thank you, in this spirit of distraction, we bound it in our midst. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. May your name alone be praised. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Amen. Thank you, God bless you. God bless you. The message is coming from the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 1 to 3. Amen. 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 And I want you to take your time to write down Hebrews chapter 11 or 1 to 5. Romans chapter 14, verse 23. On your own time, you make research. 2 Corinthians 5, verse 7. Romans 14, 28. Hebrews 11, verse 1 to 5. 2 Corinthians 5, verse 7. May God bless you on your own time. You spend time with these quotations. It has to do with the message I'm going to read today. That God will give you understanding. Yes, to his word. Yes. We bless you. Amen. Amen. And now, the message itself is Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 to 2, 3. 1 to 3. And the message is never keep up. Never keep up. Amen. Amen. Shall we be on our feet as I read the message for Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Not for me, but for Jesus. And after you can sit down and spend time the whole day with your Bible. Let's look into the word of God as I read. Amen. 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 Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great crowd of witness, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, facing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer. When they say the pioneer, the altar of life. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. The perfecter of faith. A perfecter means completer. The one who completes. It begins and it ends it. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross. Yeah. Screening its shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Three. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinners so that you will not grow weary or and lose heart. So that you will not grow weary and lose heart. May your soul be blessed. Yeah. And you may sit down in the presence of the living God. Amen. God bless you for obedience to his will. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Never give up. That is a lesson. Never give up. As hard as it could be, or as challenged as the circumstances could be, my basic for you today, or not only for you, for myself too, Never, never give up. I know it's easy to say. But the challenge as it will be, I repeat, or as hard as it will be, never what give up. No matter what comes on your way. No matter how the situation will be, never give up. So if me and you will not stop 
stop beating or throwing in the towel. And we will learn how to live by faith. My message today is never, never give up. How long it will take? As challenged it could be, I said, never, never give up. And now we are going to take it step by step, one by one, and we're going to dissect it for understanding of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. He said, therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great crowd of witness, let us throw off everything that hinders. I'll stop here and we'll continue. He said, therefore, since we are surrounded by what? Great. Crowd of what? Witness. Great witness. Let us throw out everything that hinders Pastor Collins as she throw it away. Everything that hinders you not to move forward. He said, what? Get rid of it. Amen. And now, he went ahead and he said, and the sin that so easily entangles, let me put my microphone down. This is knitting together. Mm -hmm. And this is entangled together. Yeah. Yeah. This can easily be separated, mm -hmm. but this is not easy to be separated because they are what? They are entangled together. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 And the Holy Spirit says, we are surrounded by great witnesses. And those witnesses, Sister Sita will testify about what the Lord has done. And we just don't need to go far. We just have to go behind to verse 11. When you go to Hebrews verse 11, those great witnesses, those crowd of great witnesses, he measured them by faith and he called their name attached to it. Are you with me? He said, therefore, since we are surrounded by great witnesses, let us throw away anything that, what, entangles you. Anything that entangles you is something that will not allow you to move forward. Anything that entangles you are the things that will not allow you, what, to go forward. That thing is eventually pulling you down, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oppressing you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for the purpose of God not to be what? To be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And now the crown of witness, you'll find it in Hebrews chapter 11 if you read from verse 1. And as I said, he called them by name. Mm -hmm. So, those witnesses testified and in verse 12, it becomes testimony. Amen. Praise the Lord. Is somebody with me? Is that with me? It has to be what? A witness to experience it before you can what? Testify. And after that testimony, we can say, this is what the Lord did in the life of what? Sister Sylvia. Because Sister Sylvia testified about the goodness of the Lord and the work of God in her life. Praise the Lord. So those great witnesses can be found in Hebrews chapter 11. Read from verse 1 to the end. It said, by faith, Abraham was told to go to a land. He did not know. By faith, he called the faith, and he said, Abraham, the name. A land that he did not know, but he said he should go there. And by faith, he obeyed. A land that later became what? His inheritance. I said, do not what? Give up. And he said, those are the witnesses that testify about the work of God in our life. That is why you find them a lot in the Old Testament. And now when you go to the New Testament, they confirm it to the salvation of Jesus Christ. He said, by faith, Abraham was told to go to a place he did not know. And you know, the amazing part of it, all of us that are sitting here, we are all living testimony of the work of God in our life. Mm -hmm. By faith, Charles left his father land to a straight line he never knew. Mm -hmm. 
On the way, it was dangerous. By faith, the man of God left his father's land that he did not know. But I believe in my heart, as the Bible said, faith is of this hope for. What is hope? Hope is an expectation. Expectation is that you expect that the contract will work well for you. So you are hoping that the sickness will not kill you, but you will survive out of the sickness. An expectation. And now, there is difference between sight and faith. For the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7, it says, we walk not by sight, but we walk by what? Faith. Now let me explain it. There's a difference between sight and faith. Sight is what I can see. As I'm sitting here, I can see Sylvia, I can see Mercy, I can see Mama Fumi. Something you can see with your two eyes is sight. And faith is not an event. Faith is an expectation of what you don't have. And you cannot see, but you believe and you have trust in God that God will bring what you don't see to manifestation. And that is why he said, those witnesses in verse 11, he called Abraham. When he was asked to go to a strange land, he never knew the land. But he, was, he obeyed. And he acted on what? On faith of God. That is one witness. Another witness said, by faith, Noah was warned of things not yet Things that are not yet seen. Things that are not yet existing. But Abraham was told and Noah was told. And he was warned to build what? An ark. And the Bible says, Out of fear, he built an ark to save his family. And those who believed in God that followed him were saved, and those who did not all died. He acted out of what faith. Amen. Amen. He said, by faith, he called the name again. He said, Enoch, we all know Enoch in the Bible. He said, by faith, Enoch did not experience death. He was taken on earth that Enoch did not experience death. He was not found. He was taken by God. And the Bible said, Enoch was a righteous and a holy person. And God did not want him to experience that. So God took him away on earth. He said, by faith, Sarah, that has passed childbearing, has passed childbearing. God said, nourish her womb. And she became what? A mother of what? Isaac. It is all one faith. Those are the witnesses to confirm to you and me that, my dear, you are not to give up. You are not to weep and ask God when. These witnesses confirm that through your faith in Christ, God did not disappoint them, but He manifested Himself in their life. So it means that. If me and you can learn how to live by faith, I repeat, if we can learn how to live by faith, everything that we have put before God, with patience and endurance, the Lord shall surely bring it to pass. So tell your neighbor, sister, brother, don't give up. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't give up. As hard as it will be, as challenged as the circumstances will be, I'm here to tell you only one thing. Don't give up. Don't give up your trust in God. Don't give up your belief in the Lord. For those witnesses, they go on and on and on. As an example, of approval of what God did in their life. 
And God is telling us. And he can still do it for us. Amen. If only we will not give up. Put your hands together for Jesus. So he said, the sin that entangles you, anything that entangles you, throw it away. Because the thing that entangles you, if you don't get rid of it, it will dominate your spirit. So he said, we don't have any reason not to listen to God and not to trust in him. And so he gave us an example as a witness. He said, great witnesses, crowd of witnesses. He said, let us throw everything that he needs and the sin that is so easily entangled. And let us run with perseverance. The race marked out for fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer, the perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, pay attention, for the joy set before him, he endured the cross. I'm going to explain it. And listen carefully. He said, we should throw away anything that entangles us. Entanglement, another word in English called encumbrance. Encumbrance. Encumbrance is something that becomes a burden on your life. That wants to diminish your well-being. It wants to diminish your purpose in life. It's a remove them. Sometimes encumbrance can be a friend around you. Encumbrance. It can be a friend who his purposes is being assigned in your life to pull you down, not to help you rise. Encumbrance can be the people who advise you. They always advise you wrongly that you will fail. Amen. Amen. And conference is what something that is pulling you down and not up. They said we should remove it. Those are the things that we should get rid of. And he said, running the race marked by fixing our eyes on what? On Jesus. Fixing our eyes means pray to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Fixing our eyes means look for Jesus. Fixing our eyes means search for Jesus. Is that a pioneer that is the altar of life? And the perfecter, the one, when they say the altar of life, which is, is the alpha and omega. Is the beginning and the end. Is omnipotent and omnipotent what? Present. It is I am that I am. That's why I said the altar of what? Life. The pioneer. It explains it what? Oh. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And he said, fix your eyes on Jesus. He said, me and you should look for what Jesus. He said, me and you to set more for Jesus. Fixing your eyes on Jesus means pray to Jesus, not what Mary. Pray to whom? Jesus, not what mother of Mary, mother of Jesus. I mean, pray to Jesus, the one who gave you your salvation. That's why I say he's a pioneer, the altar of life. He's the beginning and the end. He knows me and you our beginning, and he knows me and you our end. So it makes no sense praying to the mother of Jesus instead of what? Jesus. That is fixing your eyes on the pioneer, Jesus. The altar, the beginning of life. And the perfecter, the one who completes when he starts, he don't leave it half done. He completes. 
completes it. He said, fix your eyes on him. Pray to Jesus. Sing to Jesus. Serve the Lord. For it wasn't easy for him to go to the cross. You know, the time came, he went to Jesus. Went to his knee. Jesus went to his knee. Jesus went to Jesus. Because Jesus is the same God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And pray on his knee. The Father, if it is possible for this burden, that's what I said. A cobra is a burden. The sin of me and you, he said, if it is possible for him not to go through it, he will have not gone through it. It was heavy. It was abuse. It was an insult. That the pain that you have to go through, you have to carry it. Your shame, you have to take it. Your sorrow, you have to go through. So he said, well, if it is possible for something to be arranged, let's try and arrange something so that I don't take Because he was not dying only for the beauty or the ugly or the rich or the poor. He was dying for all. For those who accept him, those who are not even accept him. So the burden was not easy. So the man, being human himself in our midst, he prayed to his God that Father, if it is possible, let we do try to find ways and means to change the whole thing. But he still went there and said, but nevertheless, let your own will be done in my life. Amen. And now listen. While he was about to go through the pain, the abuse, the shame, on Friday, at the same time, he said, for the joy set before me, he went to the cross, which is, he was not thinking about the pain. His eyes were set on Sunday. Are you listening to me, brothers and sisters? This is prophetic. He said, for the joy set before me, which is because of the joy of what will happen on Sunday. That is why he went through the pain on Friday. Let's read it again. Verse 2. Are we there? Fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer, the perfecter of faith, for the joy set before me, before him, he endured the cross. So because of the miracle that is going to happen, that I'm aware, that is why I endure the fasting and prayers, and I do not allow the spirit of doubt to make me not to fast. We do things always for a reason. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, You do things for a reason. You are fasting for a reason. Yeah. You are not just fasting for fasting sake. Mm -hmm. Because you have a target ahead of you. Yeah. Hello? You have a target and focus ahead of you. And for you to get that your focus, you need to do a lot of what spiritual battles. Some of their battles is that they are going to sign contract. And they are fasting and seeking the face of God. That this contract that they are about to sign will change the rest of their life. Some, they are about to get married. Because we know that some people can get married and the following day, they divorce. Yes. Have you to have it before? Yes. Hello? Yes. Or is it only me in this world? No, no. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It happens. Yes. So you see, when you fix your eyes on Jesus, you are asking him to help him to endure the trouble that is about to happen or the joy. So you are fasting and seeking for his face to open the way for the joy that is ahead of you. Because when you invest very well, at the end, you shall live well to reap the joy of your own labor. Yeah. Yeah. Is that it? Yes, it is. Praise the Lord. Amen. So he said, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and the perfecter of faith, for the joy set before him. The joy that was set before him. Amen. Amen. He endured the cross. Scaring its shame and he sat at the right hand of the throne of God. There is a reason why we are all where we are. There are those who sacrifices for you to be where you are. There are those who 
have gone through a lot of hell and challenges to be where they are. But now today, they are celebrating because of the sacrifices that they made. Why do you have to go through the shame for you and me on Friday and abuse? I'm talking about Jesus. He said, for the joy that was set before, that's why he endured. He endured the pain because, you know, after the pain, there is glory. But there are some people who don't want to go through suffering, but they want to succeed in life. Are you with me? There are people who don't want to struggle. They just want to have a man who has reached heaven and earth, who has succeeded, but they don't know how the person became rich as a cause. Mm -hmm. And I, they, they, they said, I have everything that I want from this man, but we are not happy together. Because money does not buy peace happy. mm -hmm. or happiness. Yes. Put your hands together for Jesus. Yeah. So sometimes we endure some things because of the joy that is ahead of us. Yes. And those who work hard and sow, they always reap well. Yeah. So those who sow in tears shall reap what? Enjoy. In joy. The Bible is not contradicting at all. Mm -hmm. The Bible is really understanding and simple when you dip well into it mm -hmm. in your inner being. Yeah. You see that God is refreshing. Yeah. God is like when you walk, the weather is so hot. And really, you are walking in it and it's so tall, and you go, he said, you go to those uh, places where they sell drinks. He said, please, give me a chilled malt. As soon as you drink it, it cools your heart mm -hmm. and your beans. It refreshes your heart and your soul. God is a refresher when you know how to embrace him Amen. and walk with him well. He will walk with you well. Amen. God is not a spirit that will confuse your life, but God is a spirit that will make your life better. Amen. That's why we live in this world. It said the universal was created and prepared by God's word. Mm -hmm. He spoke the word. He said, let there be light and there was what? There was light. Let there be darkness and there was darkness. Mm -hmm. He spoke the word and the word was formed. Mm -hmm. It said, let's call light what? Day. And let's call darkness what? Night. Mm -hmm. The universal was formed and created by God's word. So, we are living in a world that was created by the word of God. And now listen. The world we are living in and what we are trusting and believing in that has honored ourselves to sit in his presence, we have never seen him. We are serving a God that we have not seen. Invisible God that we have not seen. But not because we have not seen him does not mean that God does not exist. Hello? So we are serving an invisible God that we have not seen. But we believe in him by what? Faith. So we are acting and living and moving on our faith. And he said, do not give up. For there are witnesses to encourage you that when you trust in God with your faith, the Lord did not disappoint them. So how hard your challenge may be, how difficult it will be, God said, those crowns of witnesses testify about the work of God. And he said, they will come now testimony to you and me to encourage us in the struggle not to give up. For we are serving an invisible God we have not seen. But through faith, we believe in him and we walk and live in his name, Jesus. And the Bible says, at the mention of the name Jesus, every principality Every satanic spirit, every ancestral spirit will bow. Will bow. Are you with me? Will bow. So, not because we don't see God, means that God does not exist. But as a matter of fact, we can see what He can do. Or oh, am I the only one? No. I don't have witness here. Hello, who are the witness? Who can see what the Lord can do? It's an invisible God. I'm not seeing that God. But I believe in Him by faith. But I can see what the Lord can do. And I can testify about what God can do. And I stand strong in His name, Jesus, because I've seen His work in my life. The Bible says in Romans chapter 14, verse 23, it says, Whosoever that doubts the work of God is a sinner. 
Because anything that comes that is not with faith, it is a sinful nature or a sinful character. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God, I said, is not contradicting. He said, we'll soon ever have doubt about the work of God. So in my life, as I stand here, if I ever doubt the work of God in my life, or in the life of my children, or myself, or my wife, and the ministry, and the body of Christ, the Bible says that I am acting out of unseen spirit, or a spirit that is carried by sinful nature. Are you understanding? Which is anything that comes that is not with faith is sin. Hallelujah. Amen. So I should not doubt God. I don't need to see God before I believe in Him. Mm -hmm. But I should allow the great witnesses to guide me and help me to understand Amen. that God exists. God is wherever you want Him to be. And as a matter of fact, you are sitting, sometimes the chair you're sitting is inside. Yeah. But the spirit you used to sit inside the chair, the spirit will remain with you. If the spirit that is sitting inside there is uncomfortable spirit that is not right spirit, it will make you uncomfortable to the end of the sense. But if the spirit that is there, that sitting before you sit in the chair, is a right spirit, your spirit within you will be so excited and filled with glory and peace. Peace is not outward, but peace is within our heart. Hallelujah. Amen. So the spirit of God is everywhere we go, where we want him to be. It is about our reception. It is about our acceptance to the spirit of God. We will let the spirit of God work and manifest mightily and wonderfully in your life. Amen. Brothers and sisters, God is about to do a miracle in your life. Amen. And God is the only one who will help you to cross the bridge. He said, don't give up. He said, we should live to live by faith. And when we live by faith, he will bring the glory, the miracle, the blessing that look like it cannot be possible, you will make it possible in the name of Jesus. Amen. So God will be the one that will help you to cross the bridge. And when you give up and throw in the towel, you can never get toward the bridge. Talk lots of crossing it. So his eyes was not on Friday, but his eyes were set on the joy. And it's going to be manifested on Sunday. Yes, because you know that joy, the joy is that on the third day you will rise. Yes. And you lose. Yes. What a wonderful God we serve. Oh, yes. yes. The devil knew, if he knew, that killing him will bring even the joy, will bring the happiness, he will have tossed. Yes. But as I always say, Satan is always foolish one. Yes. The devil is always, he has no sense. No. That's why we are always dressed up ahead of him. That is why he hates you and me. Because God loves us so much that God does not punish us as he is dealing with him. Praise the Lord. God did not give him a second chance. But me and you, we have a second chance. And that second chance was Jesus. So while he was enduring the pain, he was enduring the pain because he knew, behold, I see glory. I see lightened. I see favor. I see opportunity after this endurance. And I know and I know that my problems and my challenge will not stop here. Amen. That God will make a way for me. Amen. That God will take this around for me. That God, what the evil was meant for evil, God will take it for my own glory. Yeah. It is all about faith. Yeah. You are acting on your faith. You are moving on your faith. Yeah. You don't need to see before you believe. That is why I say faith is about expectation. Amen. It's not an event. This service is event. It's happening now. Yes. But faith is something you don't see. But you hope and believe in God to bring it to, to manifestation. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So God said, He went through the cross and He endured the pain and the shame because of the joy that was set before Him. I don't know about you. Which joy is set before you? What is the joy that is set before you? Is it a joy to see you successful, happily, joyful, heart in your home and your family? You have so many expectations. All the expectations, if the enemy tells you it cannot be possible, tell you the man of God, Pastor Colin said, you are a life. You are a father of all lives. For God did it. For all those prophets that you mentioned their name by faith and you attach it with your name. He did it in your life. And I know that my God lives. 
And I know my God will make a way for me. And I know the Bible says, He that dwells under the presence of the Most High God shall abide under the shadow of the Lord Almighty. I will say of the Lord, the Lord is my what? It's my refuge in the name of Jesus. Say yes, Lord. God is our refuge. Sisters, brothers, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you, no matter what you are going through, it's known by God. Whatever you are looking for, it's noted by God. It's a tell them that I hear and see their pain. But if they can hang it and endure, there is a joy ahead of you, Sylvia. There's a joy ahead of you, Messi. There's a joy ahead of you, man of God. So do not give up by the circumstances around you. They are temporary. But the blessings of God are internal. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The blessings of God are internal. So God endured the pain on the cross because there was a joy on Sunday. There was a joy on Sunday. Because Sunday, early in the morning, he rose. And when he rose, forgiveness of sin, my sin and your sin was forgiven. Me and you, we got salvation. That is why I say the pioneer, the altar, and the perfecter. When we got salvation, we were completely saved oh, yeah. by Jesus. Amen. So I don't need to serve God because I'm saved. But I need to allow faith to be my lifestyle. Amen. 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 I'm not serving God because I'm saved. But I need to allow faith to be my lifestyle as a child of what? God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. As a child of God. So behold, there is power in his name. Behold, there is deliverance in his name. Behold, there is transformation in his name. And early in the morning on Sunday, the joy manifested. Amen. And when the joy manifested, when he rose, he went straight to hell. And those who that died innocently that were not supposed to be killed, mm -hmm. all of them he loosed them from hell. Mm -hmm. And they were sent to where they were supposed to be. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. Salvation came. Yes. Deliverance came. Hope came. Liberty came. Amen. There is a joy that sometimes you cannot explain it. I don't know about you. But I said there is a joy that sometimes you don't know how to explain it. When it comes in your heart, nothing bothers you. Mm -hmm. Nothing bothers you. Yeah. Because you know, even though your faith will be weakened, I want you to know we have a faith helper. Yeah. That faith helper that will help you to strengthen his name is Jesus. Yes. He said, Do not give up. Yes. He said, Do not give up. Yes. He endured the pain, mm -hmm. he said, and the shame, mm -hmm. so that me and you will not be worried. Mm -hmm. What is worry? Uncomfortable circumstances that make you always weep and cry mm -hmm. and don't understand why my own situation is as it is. Mm -hmm. He do not want you to be worried. So that we did not lose heart. So he did not lose faith in the God that he served. That's why he gave you examples of what he have done. On and on and on and on. Look at Sarah's situation. It is not believable, but God did it. Look at Abel who was killed by his brother, by the end his blood fought for justice. Even when he was dead. God did it. On and on. On and on. I can mention their name when we go to the book of Hebrews, the slave. Witnesses. I say I can test on what God has did in my life. And my testimony, it becomes a prover of the work of God. So, first of all, it becomes a witness to testify. And that is when it becomes testimony. That's why it's good to speak when God walk and did something great in your life. Don't wait when the bigger happen. The little things is good to be appreciated. It is an approval to the spirit of God and the realm of the spirit that God has done it. And the enemies will know that your God is alive. Amen. God bless you. So you and me, brothers and sisters, we are in the same boat together. You and me, brothers and sisters, we can only cross the bridge when we don't give up. And God is the only one who can help us to cross the bridge. Hallelujah. He don't want you to be well. He don't want you to lose heart. That is why He went to the cross for you and me. He 
You have peace in your home, peace in your heart. You have joy, or countless joy. Blessing, and He cover our sins with multitude of what love. It's a compassionate God, slow to anger and abounding in love. What a great God we said. Beloved, I'm running up. And I want you to know today. And be it as it may, God knows it all. Never give up. Whenever I've told you that it will not be possible, tell them, my God is alive. If your faith is weak, we have a person who his name is Jesus. A helper to our faith. To strengthen you. There are people who die through oppression, heart oppression. There are people who die through one accident on bicycle or car. There are people who die through traveling. And there are people who just in their own house, they fell down from the back and they died. I pray that you and your household will be encountered with God's glory, yeah. with God's power, yeah. with God's spirit, yeah. with God's favor. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, yeah. Yeah. I pray that no evil that they went against you shall prosper. Yeah. I pray that any gathering of evil against your family, your household, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I pray that the heaven and the earth will encamp you, will protect you, and preserve your family, preserve your going out, every step you take. Every move we make, may God guide you. Amen. May God protect you. Amen. May God guide you. Amen. May God transform you. Amen. That you may not grow weary or lose heart in Christ. Amen. Never give up, my people. Amen. Never give up. For God will help you to cross the bridge. Amen. God will help you to cross the bridge. Amen. Whatever I have told you, it cannot be possible. It's a lie. Whatever I've told you, this place, this country, nothing good happened. Though. Let me tell you. It may not be good for them, but your head is different from their head. Yeah, it may be good for you. Oh, yes. All that you want me to let you know, trust in me. Have faith, strong faith in me. And always have expectation that what you don't see, God will bring it to pass. Oh, yes. For I don't want you. To run the race with unsettled spirit. He wanted to run the race with perseverance and endurance because there is a joy set ahead of you. It's a joy when your husband is doing well. It's a joy when your wife is well. It's a joy when your children are doing well. For that reason, that's why you are enduring through the hardship, through prayer. You are praying that it will be well with your unborn children. It's endurance. You are praying that your children will not die on terminally dead. It's endurance. They do not understand why you are praying. But you know that there is a joy set before you. This joy cannot come to pass when we don't go through endurance and perseverance to run the race in fixing our eyes on Jesus. When we fix our eyes on Jesus, we will take this out. May your soul be blessed. Amen. May you find joy Amen. in His presence. Amen. May your heart be strengthened Amen. with hope. And may your spirit within you be filled with His glory. Amen. Father, I bless you. Amen. I give you glory. Amen. I magnify your holy name for speaking once again. As I stand here, I'm filled with your glory. As I say, I am filled with your power. Because I know any time you speak, you are speaking to me, to God. And I receive every word that has proceeded now from this premises. Father, let it be a light unto my feet and a lamp unto my path. I bless you, God, for your word that has come magnificently this hour, this moment in our mission. May the weak be strengthened. Let the weak be strengthened. And let the sick receive healing, instant healing. Right now, at the hospital, going through oppression, I release healing in the name of Jesus. Let those who go through marriages, challenges, Father, let them, their hope be restored in peace. 
Let your home be restored with peace. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Set us free, Lord. Amen. Preserve our life Amen. and promote us. Amen. Guide us Amen. and guide our children Amen. and our children, children. Amen. And our born ones, Lord, we pray that your spirit will rest upon your born ones. Amen. We pray that your glory will rest upon your born ones. Amen. That your spirit will not be taken away by demonic and satanic spirit. We bound it in the name of Jesus. Amen. We bound it in the name of Jesus. Amen. But I will take you because we know you have our back. You will not allow us to be pushing oh, yes. or to be pushed to the pit. Oh, yes. We thank you, thank you for all that you have done. Amen. We thank you for the endurance you went through the cross for me and you and my children and my ministry and the members for our sake. Thank you, we say we thank you. Thank you Lord. Let the joy that is set before us, Father, give us the spirit, perseverance to endure to the end. Amen. We bless you today. Thank every you. soul, every joke, Old that are here today, Father. Bless them. Amen. Strengthen them. Amen. Meet them, Holy Spirit, at the point of their desire. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Deliver them from evil spirit. Amen. no spirit. Amen. And fill them with power. Amen. Glory. Amen. Deliver us. Anointed. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May you be loose. Amen. From the attack of your enemies. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Almighty. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May you all be blessed. Amen. Amen.